Not again, Natrez. Why, buddy? Why? Natrez Patrick. Busted for weed again. Uh, this time right after the SEC championship game. Don't know why I have to keep making these same videos. Lou here. Uh, yep, that's right. It's me, Uncle Lou, live for you on YouTube today. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Uh, share the video. Don't be selfish. Natrez Patrick, man. <laughs> you know, I, I thought I, I, I said I'm not going to make any more of these type videos. You know, I did the, the uh, Aubrey Solomon thing uh, a couple of years ago. If you guys have been following me for a while, you saw me on on Last Chance You on, on Netflix with that whole uh, that whole thing. Here's a clip. Once every three months, so let's have a team test every three months. They can have a random one ever. But you've been there, you know. You can't play. You can't play. Can't control your life. You know, it's not that they control your life. It's just like anything else. You can't. It's certain things you just can't do with the job or the career that you're trying to pursue yeah. because you're different. You feel like you gotta do drugs and you don't wanna be drug tested, then guess what? Don't play football. Yeah. That's just that simple. <laughs> real simple, ain't it? Oh yeah. Think, People make it hard, but it ain't hard. It's real simple. <laughs> real simple. It's real simple. Defensive lineman Chauncey Rivers arrested for marijuana. Typically, that, that's not a huge deal. I mean, a large percentage of college students uh, you know, smoke a little bit of the sticky icky. Uh, you know, so, you know, is the guy a serial killer? No! But, 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 three times in seven months this guy's been busted! For weed! Uh, hello, Chauncey! What are you doing? But you knew that you could lose everything. Like, you knew, know, like, if I fail one more drug test, I'm done. No. And you did it anyway. So like yeah, so all day yesterday, people are, are I'm getting messages and, and and comments and all kinds of stuff. What do you think about Nate Trez? What do you think about Nate Trez? I said, well, just watch, j j just watch episode five, the season two. You'll see exactly uh, of Last Chance You. I, I, don't, I mean, I don't feel any different about this one here. And look, I get it. Okay, believe me, believe me. I'm not here to judge Nate Trez Patrick. All right. Uh, I'm not here to say he's some kind of a bad guy or or a, or or a, a you know a career criminal or anything like that. I get it. You know, it's marijuana, it's weed. Uh, plenty of college kids out there doing it. I completely get it. I completely understand. You know, and then you got the uh, you know the other crowd that says, uh, well, it shouldn't even be illegal to begin with. You know, uh, it's not even as bad as alcohol. And uh, and look. <laughs> You know, everybody's got their own, you know, everybody's got their demons. Everybody's got their own issues. Again, you've been watching me for a while. Uh, you know, I, well, although I've never done drugs, uh, there was a point in time where Uncle Lou drank a little too much. Uh, yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, I finally just decided enough was enough, and I did what I had to do, uh, you know, to, to get past that. But uh, <laughs> people say... It, it, you know, it's not physically addictive and all, and, and that's fine. All of that, all of that might be true. It's just weed. It's not physically addictive. It should be legal. I look, I I agree with a lot of that stuff there. But the point is, if you're doing anything, anything, to the point where it's affecting things in your life in a negative way, <laughs> and, and potential potentially having a negative impact, or even possibly ruining your future and your career, then it might be a good idea to do whatever you have to do to stop doing that. Whether it's weed or... Look, if you have a job, right, and you like video games, and you stay up half the night playing video games to the point where you can't get up and go to work the next day, and you end up getting fired, guess what? You have a problem with video games. Doesn't mean video games are, video games aren't illegal. Video games aren't addictive, uh, physically or whatever. Uh, you know, but it's affecting you in a negative way. I mean, it's really just, it's just, it's past the point of even getting mad or angry now, you know? And again, to me, it's a different situation if this was his first time or whatever. 
But, you know, this is the third time he's been in trouble at UGA. Uh, twice just this year. Um, I mean, he was suspended for four games in the middle of this season for the same thing. Um, so it, it's, it's hard to give him the benefit of the doubt in that respect. And I get that. Uh, and, and, you know, you got the whole, the whole, well, he let his team down aspect of it, too. Um, I'm not on the team, obviously, so that doesn't have anything, well, none of this has anything to do with me, but he let his team down. I don't know, I mean, what else can you say? There's not, there, there's, there's really no way to sugarcoat that. Um, I mean, he just lost what could potentially be the biggest moment ever in his football career. The college football playoffs. I mean, you could forget it. I haven't heard any official announcements or anything from UGA, but the, the, he's gone. I mean, the guy's done. There's no way he's playing in the uh, playoff games, and he shouldn't. Um, and he's probably off the team. Uh, like I said, this is the third time. So, you know, he's probably off the team. So, I mean, who knows? He's pretty good. Is he good enough to go pro? Maybe. I would say he's borderline pro material. Um, he's no Roquan Smith, uh, but no one is. Congrats to Roquan, by the way. First Georgia player in history to win the Buckets Award for the, the best defensive player in the nation. Uh, complete animal, this guy, Roquan Smith. Savage, through and through. Congrats, sir. I, I mean, it's just disappointing. You know, Georgia, you know, we have, that, that's the biggest win we've had in a long time, winning the SEC championship game uh, and securing a spot in the, in the college football playoff. Uh, football's version of the Final Four, and uh, you know, not even not even 12 hours later, uh, you know, one of our starting linebackers uh, gets arrested for weed. Another player arrested too. I guess they were both in the car together. Jason Stanley, he doesn't play that much, um, so that's not as big of a loss to the team as the Natrez Patrick thing. But same same thing applies to him. Uh, sir, Mr. Stanley, you know, anything you're doing, if it's affecting you in a negative way, you might want to consider finding a way to stop doing those things. I am not here to judge. Like I said, I've said a hundred times. Lord knows I've had my own sets of issues and problems. And truth be known, most of us have. Um, you know, whether it's legal issues, drug issues, alcohol issues, whatever it is. Or you know somebody, a family member, whatever. I'm not here to look down on anybody or judge anybody, but... Uh, like I said, it's past the point of even getting mad. I used to do that. I used to, I used to get mad. You, like I said, you can watch the Aubrey Solomon. Not Aubrey Solomon. I'm sorry. Chauncey Rivers. Uh, Chauncey Rivers. Uh, Aubrey Solomon. What a dud he is, right? Went to Michigan instead of Georgia anyway. Watch the Aubrey Solomon video, too. That's a good one, too. Just type in Uncle Lou Aubrey Solomon. Uh, he'll thank me later. <laughs> or, or curse me, one of the two. But, yeah, Chauncey Rivers, that's who I'm talking about. Got booted off a couple of years ago. Ended up at East Mississippi Community College, which is, uh, of course, the college uh, that Last Chance U documents in the first two seasons of Last Chance U. Uh, yeah, and Uncle Lou's on there, season two. Uh, episode five, I think it is. I put the clip up. But, so, I mean, it's just an all-around bad situation. I don't know what people really want me to get on here and do or say. I, am I happy about it? No. Was I, was I mad when I first saw it? Well, actually, no. When I first saw it, I said, this is a joke. I was live streaming yesterday, and somebody said, did you hear about Natrez Patrick got arrested? I thought they were trolling me in the comments section, you know? I was like, that can't be true. There's no way. No way that's true. The guy, the guy just got off suspension for weed. No way he went out and did it again. Well, he did, but... So, yeah, I was a little angry uh, and then sad and upset and disappointed and all those things. I feel bad for, for his teammates. You know, like I said, there's no way to sugarcoat it. He, he, let, he let his team down. Um, you know, uh, the biggest games uh, that UGA has played in a long, long time coming up uh, in it here, first of the year, uh, Rose Bowl, and you're not going to be a part of it, uh, sir. Uh, it's just disappointing. Again, I'm not here to judge you. Uh, believe me. Uh, it's just my thoughts on the situation. I, 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 whether, whether, whether he knows it or not, he needs to get the help he needs to get off of that stuff. I mean, it's just the way it is. It doesn't matter 
look, lots of people think a player should be able to, to, to sell his own name, right? How does the NCAA own a player's name, right? Player can't sign his name and sell it to somebody and autograph. A lot of people think that's a dumb rule, shouldn't exist, blah, blah, blah. Well, but it does. And the players know that it does. And Todd Gurley had to sit out uh, for selling his name. Selling your name is not illegal, but it's an NCAA violation. Well, smoking weed is not only illegal, it's also a violation. And, you know, like I said, it's just, it's not the first time. And I'm definitely not one of these people who just wants to get rid of a guy because he makes a mistake or makes a bad decision. But it just gets to the point where you can't keep giving people the same opportunities over and over and over again. And three times, um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be hard to argue for Natrez in this situation uh, with it being his third time. Not only that, the second time, like I said, he just got off suspension in the middle of this year. He was suspended the middle of this year, four games uh, for weed. And then, you know, here we are again, not even a month later after, you know, when did he come back? The Auburn game? Uh, the first Auburn game? Wasn't that the first game he came back? So, and, and now gone again. Just disappointing. Anyway, I'm just rambling now. Uh, but uh, I, I really just don't know what else to say. But anyway, that's my thoughts on it. Uh, plenty of uh, better videos than this one coming this week. I'll make a video, my initial thoughts on the matchup, Georgia and Oklahoma. Uh, thoughts on the other matchup, Alabama and Clemson. Uh, I want to do a video, too, about the other bowl games. I think there's some interesting matchups in the other bowl games, too. I know everybody tends to focus now only on the two playoff games because, obviously, they're the most important. But I think there's some interesting matchups in the other uh, in the other bowl games, too. So we'll spend a lot of time this week um, talking generally about uh, the playoff matchups and the other bowl uh, bowl matchups coming up here uh, over the course of the next month. Well, those videos will be this week. The bowl games stretch over the course of the next month. But So those will be the videos coming up this week, plus whatever else, uh, whatever else piques my interest or tickles my fancy. Uh, yeah.